everyone. So like the title says, this video is going to be a haul. It's just a mini Sephora haul. I was actually supposed to shoot this about two weeks ago, but I took the kids, packed them up in the van and the husband, and we drove across about two provinces to visit the grandparents. So I figure we might as well just jump right in because I have been anxious to film this video for you guys. So here's my little Sephora haul. And I got some, I'm really excited about these. I've actually used um, a couple of the products already and I'm starting to form my opinion. So watch out for some reviews on these, but yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I was super excited to pick up was the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Sorry, let's try that again. The Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I usually am more of a neutral. I stick to my neutrals. I have to say I'm usually safe, but I'm always drawn to crazy colors. I feel like this palette was the first palette that had colors that I feel were perfect for me to, I guess, transition into more dramatic eyeshadow shades, if that makes any sense. So this palette comes with 14 shades. There are 11 matte shades and three metallic. So this is actually really the first time I'm opening this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys might have seen this already, but whoop! I see the 11 matte shades, obviously, and the three um, metallic shades would be Vermeer, Primavera, and Antique Bronze. So that's here. Can you see? Those three are the shimmers. Now I love the shades, like I love the the reds and the oranges. Um, I feel like it's the, I don't know, like they're just a little bit edgier than neutrals, but they're still easy to work with. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, my goal with this palette is to try and shoot something wearable for daytime using these colors. So we'll see, watch out for maybe a um, tutorial with this palette or a get ready with me. Okay, so if you watched, I think it was my last video, the bronzed glowy makeup tutorial, I think I went on about how much I love the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. And so since I guess I'm kind of new to the skin tints, uh, tinted moisturizer, whatever trend, um, I decided I wanted to pick up a, another product like that. So the one that I've been seeing that has been getting pretty good reviews is the Bare Minerals um, Complexion Rescue. So this is what the box looks like. I don't know if you can see that. And I picked up this shade Ginger. So, you know, if you're like me in neutral yellowy undertones, then this might be um, the shade for you as well. They actually came out with a bunch of new shades because when I was getting color matched at Sephora, um, the lady there who was helping me said that they just came out with a whole bunch of new shades and um, they had just gotten delivered, so that's really cool. So it's not a skin tint, it's a tinted hydrating gel cream. And it has skincare benefits infused, it's lightweight, um, it gives a dewy, healthy looking glow. There's marine botanicals to help hydrate and replenish thirsty skin, that's me. Even in the summer, like I'll get oily in the T-zone and dry everywhere else. So typical combination to dry is what I usually am. So this is um, exciting. Um, it says there's mineral, what does that say? Electrolytes to help energize, I guess the skin. And there are antioxidants. And this is one of the best things about it, non-chemical SPF 30. That's really important. And it's sheer to medium coverage. Now this is one of the products that I was really excited. Like I love foundations and concealers, so good luck trying to wait like a week or two weeks or even a couple days, like, and you know, trying to wait and not open it. So I opened it and I actually used it when I was on vacation. Um, where I went, the climate is more humid and a lot hotter than here. So I figured I would put it to the test and I found it to be quite pigmented. It says like sheer to medium coverage. I feel like you can even build it up a little bit more. I feel like you could definitely do a sheer coverage. I feel like though you can do medium to, I 
don't know, maybe full coverage. I don't know why. I felt like I like I used my fingers to apply it and I used my beauty blender and I feel like I got really there's really nice pigment to it. So so far, um what I can say about this actually we'll just wait. I'll just shoot like um a full review on this. But um yeah, so far so good. The next item is the Makeup Forever Face and Body um, Liquid Makeup. Now, I pick this up, this is what the box looks like. I picked up the shade 32. I found that there, surprisingly for a Makeup Forever product, there weren't a lot of shades in this line. Not like the um, uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD and um, some of their other foundations, they usually have like a really good color um, spectrum, but yeah, this this seemed a little bit limited. So I picked this up because it's summer and I wanted something that was going to be very um, waterproof and allow me to have like sort of a, I always try and go for a natural like medium coverage sort of um, complexion and dewy. So I heard good things about this. Um, it has a gel texture, it's um, light and smooth, it's supposed to even out your complexion, water resistant, um, it's recommended for all skin types, and especially suitable for mature and problem skin. So really good things um, on the website about this product. And I did use it in the past. Um, uh, I've had makeup artists put this product on me using um, an airbrush machine and from what I remember it is very waterproof however this time using it on myself I used a beauty blender to apply it um, and I used a, um, a brush and I think the brush is probably better um, because I'll show you that I'll show you what it looks like here it's really like like gel like you really need to shake it like look at how it breaks up can you see that I hope you can see that it's a very faint smell nice smell it kind of smells like a grandma so it says here on the box that the unique gel formula comprised of more than 75% water delivers a natural result suitable for all skin types it gives the skin a uniform tone and leaves a satin finish easy to apply and water resistant this is also a perfect formula for the body so I only tried it on the face. It definitely like feels like it's made up of 75% like water. I would say that it does even out my skin tone um, and the satin finish, I would agree with that as well. I think my only problem with this, to be honest, is that I feel like the, the shade just made me look like I feel like it was too neutral for me, like not yellow enough. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. To be honest, I was pretty dead set on returning it. Um, but you know what? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out for you. I'll do a video, and we will apply with like beauty blender and with a brush, and you'll see how it applies. And then maybe you guys can tell me if I should keep it. I do know that there is a reformulated version of this that just launched. I just started seeing videos, so maybe I'll like that better. But um, yeah, so that's that for the Makeup Forever. I was a bit disappointed because I remember it being used on me before and I don't know, I didn't really have any issues with it. I didn't like fall in love with it, but it just made sense. I was in a really humid climate. Um, but yeah, I guess from using this, I can say it's very water resistant. It's waterproof, like definitely. Um, I would say it was really good for the dry parts of my skin and it really didn't increase my oiliness or anything so definitely agree with it being suitable for all skin types. Um, but yeah, let me do another video and wear it a bit more and then we'll see what I do. And then last but not least I have Bite Beauty a Mousse Bouche Lipstick and I got the shade Sugar Cane. This is what the box looks like. Um, this is my first Bite Beauty product, and I didn't try this. I actually, for some reason, like I really have been, I, I'm really excited about this too, but I just never used it for some reason, probably because I wanted to save it for the haul. 
So that's the packaging, which is nice. It's like a gray matte or satin case. It's like that where the bite right there is really nice. That bite's new to me, so this is like the first time I'm ever seeing it. So sugar cane is like a pink nude, which I love. I love nudes um, with a pink uh, undertone, I guess. So, so it says um, it's infused with five milligrams of trans res resveratrol from Vitus vinifera and Polygonum cuspidum. It's natural and organic. I didn't know that. And Toronto, Canada. Is this local meat in Canada? I didn't know. Yay, my beauty. I'll let you know how I like this. It has a nice smell. Sort of citrusy. Oh wow, okay, that feels really nice. Can you, I don't know if it's washing it out. Probably, but it's such a pretty color. I actually didn't swatch it. I normally don't swatch um, lipsticks in, in the store. And I don't know why. I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of the color by looking at it, but I guess for like formula and and all that, you should probably swatch it. So I think I'm definitely gonna like this and I will probably pick up more of um, their shades. So well, that's pretty much it for this mini haul. Um, I'm excited to do um, a review or I'm probably gonna do a get ready with me with this if not a tutorial. So watch out for that. And I'm definitely going to do a, like, I guess, is it, would it be a first impressions with the foundations? Like, I've already used it, but I mean, like, I'll do an, a full application on the face from Bare Face, and then, I guess, talk about it as I put it on. Let me know in the comments below if there's a certain video that you want me to do, if there's a product review that you'd like me, or if there's a product that you'd like me to review. Check my description boxes for the products that were mentioned in my videos. So that's it for this video. It was just a mini haul. Hope you enjoyed it and please watch out for the next videos. Bye.